that it's right downtown here in Whiteville. This is where the road simply comes to an end. Uh, the water right now is uh, ankle uh, length right now, but you can still see the remnants of Idalia as we zoom out. You can see this entire stretch of downtown impact as some of the business owners nearby tell me they got at least a foot of water inside some of these stores. All in all, emergency management crews tell me fifth, uh, about 40 buildings were hit. And if we take a, a look at some of the video from Chopper 11, you can see just how expansive uh, the damage was here in uh, downtown Whiteville. You can see uh, multiple areas uh, impacted. They say this started uh, this morning. The good news is we are told that it has crested right now. The water level is still uh, coming down right now. And in the meantime, we are talking with some of those uh, business owners uh, they've been able to come here downtown. They're trying to assess the damage. I talked to uh, one gentleman. Uh, his dad has owned a barber shop here for 40 years, and this, they're no stranger to this. They tell me that they've uh, seen damage from uh, previous hurricanes like Matthew and Florence, and now they're dealing with even more damage. Last time we, it flooded, we went in there and did um, uh, metal walls on it instead of sheetrock, so it's kind of flood. It can take the flood now, so um, we just go in there and clean up, suck water out, and rebuild, you know. Yeah, and it still may take a while to do that. Uh, so we actually saw some some of the business owners uh, traipsing through trying to assess the damage. Some of them haven't uh, even been able to get inside just yet as that water level continues to recede. But obviously there's going to be a lot of damage to clean up. I talked with the city crews. Uh, they, they're also assessing the damage. They had their drone crews out here just about an hour ago. But again, they say the water level is finally starting to come down. But uh, by the time it actually clears out of here, they say it could be into tomorrow. Reporting live, Tom George, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.